How's it going? Rob here, Old City Vapor, with another video juice review for you. Uh, this time around, another from Poet, uh, Poet Electronic Nectars. This is Dolce Malay Crema. And uh, this bottle, if you can see, uh, not really, because it is that dark emerald green glass bottle that uh, is pretty cool you know helps protect from uh, UV and stuff like that but uh, it's also empty Bummer. Um, this is in a three milligram nick level and uh, like I say Dulce Mali Crema uh, if I pronounce that right um, this is uh, the third poet juice that I've um, done a review on and this is the last of it uh, there might be a couple of more drips in there that's why I'm uh, dripping it in this uh, little atomizer here because uh, I vaped it all so do I like it yeah I do um, <laughs> it's, uh, kind of a, if you read the description on it, it's a, uh, a vanilla cream or a vanilla custard honey with, uh, like a whipped honey, basically. Uh, if you like honey, uh, this is definitely a good one. really tasty uh, the custard part is um, it's not like a real eggy type custard it's uh, more of like a vanilla type custard I would say really smooth uh, really rich nice you know bold flavors plenty of vapor um, I believe these are like a 70 30 blend for 65.35 again I need my glasses uh, but I believe uh, that's pretty close to the VG PG ratio um, like I say it's a uh, just a really good nice uh, clean but a bold kind of flavor uh, not really overpowering but definitely has the, a honey type flavor to it uh, there might be a little bit of something else going on in there as well um, kind of uh, kind of hard to get the the total of it because they're definitely really complex you know flavors uh, definitely layered really good mixed really well uh, definitely been impressed with the flavors from Poet so far. Really good. Uh, highly recommended. Definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Um, like I say, this bottle's empty. It's a bummer, but I am getting more. Uh, it has the the strange dripper top on there um, according to Randy Freer the proprietor owner of Poet uh, this is a Euro top um, you know kind of cool and the fact that it snaps on there you know when <laughs> if there was juice in there if you spill it knock it over it won't come out uh, either use a syringe or a pipette you know put it in see if I can get any more drips out of here because it is right oh yeah there's a couple but if it was full you know you could stick a syringe down in it pull it out or do it this way and uh, get it out of there quite easily a little weird a little getting used to for me at first I didn't like them now I don't mind them as much uh, pretty easy to deal with and goofy me I'm always you know 
these type bottles with the lid on them uh, I'm always knocking them over and man I don't even want to spill this juice because it is that good uh, definitely good juice definitely mixed really nice um, like I say if you like honey this one should be right up your alley I get that definite uh, kind of honey taste sweet um, but not like overpoweringly sweet at all uh, just a really good nice flavor um, again that custardy flavor not the eggy type custard more of a vanilla uh, type custard um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say man it's just good uh, I definitely have enjoyed it thoroughly I'll have more reviews coming up on Poet as it has definitely become one of my favorites and uh, there you have it short but sweet highly recommended great stuff Dolce Mali Crema get you some available at VapeRev.com there's a few other places that have it now uh, this particular Poet came from Vape Rev. I'll put the links below uh, this is a 15 mil glass bottle uh, it could be, you know, as big as, I don't know how big they come, but these are 14 bucks from Vape Rev. The 30 mil bottles are 22, uh, worth every penny. There you go. Uh, poet. Poet, poet, poet. Get you some. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great week. See you soon. I will add uh, at the last minute here I was vaping this today I do have a, a little bit left in a tank and I was vaping this today at work and one of my bosses you know they're they're pretty vape friendly in there you know but I, I still stand over by one of the doors when I vape um, we uh, I print t-shirts now that's my new job uh, working in a, a place prints t-shirts and you know apparel and stuff like that uh, so hey if anybody needs t-shirts let me know um, but anyway I'm vaping this and uh, my boss came around the corner and he was like what are you cooking over here and I'm like huh and I'm looking around you know thinking <laughs> like I'm burning something or whatever he goes what are you what are you cooking what are you making for lunch and I'm like um, I already ate lunch it was a uh, ham ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> He goes, no, something smells like, like cake or, or something really good. And I said, oh, it's probably what I'm vaping. He was like, holy crap, man, that stuff smells great. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. That's what it smells like in the, uh, in the air. Even my non-vaping boss thought it smelled awesome. <laughs>